putting your monotub into fruiting conditions. Mm, very complicated. Let me break it down for you in a couple of steps. Okay, so here we have my very poorly made monotub. We've got some fresh air exchange holes here and here, but you'll notice they're completely sealed. So I've covered those up with uh, fragile stickers. I don't want any oxygen getting in there while my mycelium is in colonization. Um, but what we want to do is we want to flip it into fruiting conditions. So I'm going to go around, take all those stickers off, and I'm going to replace it with micropore tape. This means that fresh air can get in through the tape, but no nasties. So it's really important to understand the two phases of the monotub. Once you've um, entered the tub into colonization, so you're adding your grain in your, with your substrate, you don't want any fresh air going in there. You want to seal it off, number one, you don't want any risk of contamination, but number two, for mycelium to grow, thrives in a CO2 rich environment. So it wants that carbon dioxide to be able to grow and colonize and, and fill that substrate with rich, juicy, life-giving mycelium. Now, mushrooms are the fruit and body of mycelium and mushrooms breathe like us. So they breathe in oxygen and they release CO2. Um, and what you want to do is change the environment of that monotub to, tr to trigger the mycelium into fruit and conditions. So you open up those sealed pores, you allow the oxygen to come through, you're providing life-giving oxygen and removing that um, suffocating CO2. Um, and, and that is why you swap the unit um, from, from a sealed to an FAE uh, at the right point for the mycelium to be ready to fruit. And you're triggering that fruiting stage. And there we go, tasty mushrooms for your plate.